What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to Serial Production. X-Men 97 has been a banger, you guys. I am so hyped. I'm so excited. We got to talk about today's episode, the latest episode. Holy shit. This show is on a whole nother level. Now, I thought Loki was the best Disney Plus Marvel show. But X-Men 97 is now surpassing that on all single levels. I, you guys, this last episode blew my mind. Spoilers, you guys. We're talking spoilers in this. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. If you guys haven't seen it, please go watch it. If you aren't watching it, what are you doing? This is something you don't want to miss. This show has impressed me with every single episode. It's going places I never thought the MCU would go. It's character development, it's character relations. Everything has been so spot on. It's like, I now I just want the X-Men live action in the MCU. Like, screw everything else. Just give me the X-Men. And Bo DeMeo, you guys, what did he do to get canceled? What did he do to get fired? Because he wrote seasons one and he wrote seasons two. He got fired, he's not coming back. But this shit is so spectacular. I'm like, I don't know what they're going to do without him. This show is going to win Emmys. Uh, Y'all, look, this last episode, holy shit. So many massive, big moments. Seeing Morph turn into the Hulk. I was just like, we have now seen Captain America. We've now seen Spider-Man. And we have now seen the Hulk within this X-Men 97 series. And it's been so damn good. I was like, no way, Morph is turning into the Hulk. That was so awesome. They are definitely leading into the massive event of that being Onslaught, you guys, with Magneto and Professor X. Just seeing Magneto literally being so fed up with this bullshit and Charles's dream and Charles, Charles and Charles, this is what Charles wanted. I'm taking over my X-Men. This is what Charles wanted. And he's like, no, that's it. Charles, your way is no longer working. We are going to do it my way. And he's doing it with brute force. All the magnetism in the world, you guys. He even has Rogue on his side, including Sunspot. Rogue's pissed off too about Genosha. So you get where she's coming from. She's like, look, how many more X-Men do we have to lose, Professor? And I love the fact that seeing all the X-Men, seeing, you know, Morph there, Wolverine, Cyclops, Jean, Jubilee, Professor X, Cable, you know, I love that they're all coming together. And I love that they all got brand new suits. And I was like, oh, you guys look so damn incredible in your new X-Men suits. And seeing them in battle, you guys, seeing them, the camaraderie, seeing the teamwork, you guys over here, you guys over here. It is so awesome to see. It, it, it really, really is. You guys, we got to talk about the elephant in the room. We just have to. Magneto is so powerful. His presence, his aura, everything about him, his speeches. He is so incredibly well written in this series. The fact that him and Charles are still going back at it. And he's like, Charles, I, two words I haven't, I've been waiting to tell you. Shut up. And he was just so mad. And, you know, Professor X is like, I need his abilities in order to reverse what he's doing to Earth so we can have some kind of chance to, you know, reconcile what has happened. Magneto doesn't want that. But, the, you know, the X-Men and Professor X, they want to help the world. They're still under Professor X's dream. You know what I mean? That mutants can live and and be in a, a cohesive world with the humans. But then you have the you know the prime sentinels and Bastion and everything. And he's like, I am sick of this shit. Like, this is what we need, and we are no longer gonna be, you know, going, you know, going through what Professor X wanted. So Seeing the X-Men, seeing Magneto fully go a full villain again was such a sight to see. And when this moment, the, the big moment, when Wolverine stabbed per, uh, uh, Magneto through the back and you saw that shit and there was blood. I was like, oh, I was like, oh my God, it's happening. And he turned around and the look, and I love what, what Wolverine told him. He was like, I've been through a lot of wars, bub. And he turned around and was like, what you say, class? He literally was doing that 
page for page at, at, from the comic of ripping the adamantium out of his body. I was like, oh, I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way. My jaw dropped. You look at my, you look at my wife. My wife was like, what's happening? And I was just like, no way. They're, they're, they're actually adapting. I was like, oh, my God. That is just beyond crazy. The professor's like, Magnus, don't do this. And he was just like, no, nah, I'm about to rip all this man out of Matthew out this man's body because he just stabbed me through the chest with his claws. <laughs> that moment was so awesome. It was so freaking cool, man. The Sentinel Primes and all the, you know, the Mr. Sinister stuff, I really like it. And Jean Grey, did she end up dying because of Cable, her own son? I was like, holy shit, no. Then that whole moment between her and Cyclops. Where she, you know, she got, she used her tele, te, telepathy, tele, telepathy, you know, and Cyclops saw everything. And, you know, he, he's about to witness Gene die. And I was just like, oh, my God, dude, no, please don't kill off Gene. And I was like, is Gene going to go full Phoenix again? Is she, is that, is that what we're leading to? Oh, my God. You have, this episode was so well done. The action, everything, all the monologues between, you know, Storm Seeing Storm back in action again, you guys with a black costume and Forge. I was just like, yes, yes, it was it was, it was just everything was landing on every single a level for me, and I was so highly impressed. I know a lot. I like I want to do reaction videos, you know, to each episode. It's just it requires a lot of time, and you know, I have my son during the day, and it's just it's damn near impossible for me to do any kind of reaction videos like that. If I did, it would be like on Sundays only. And by then, ain't nobody watching it. You know what I mean? Man, you guys, like I said, this last episode was phenomenal. I can't wait for the season finale next week. You know, Bo DeMeo, what did you do? What did you do? I just want to know. I just want to know. Because I want you back. Like, is it, is it not that bad where you can come back with, you know, Marvel Studios firing James Gunn? You know what I mean? Like, what, what happened? You know, because he's doing, he's did a, a wonderful job. And he's all over X and Twitter right now. You know, giving us subtle hints and go watch this if you wanted to tie into that. And it's, I love it. I love it. He's engaged with the fans on Twitter right now. And I'm like, that is awesome. That is freaking dope. But y'all, this latest episode, I cannot wait for the season finale of X-Men 97. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thoughts and opinions. Post them, you guys. And of course, thank you for taking time out of your day for watching C-Roll Productions. Peace.